I also think it's one of the reasons why Donald Trump is a dangerous general election candidate if he becomes the Republican nominee, because he's willing to engage in a lot of apostasy on Republican uh, on, on Republican uh, issues, on to not take Republican issues uh, that, that, that are core to the party. Mike, um, I, 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 I'm sure you uh, have thought this through or thought about it a little bit. The ways in which Donald Trump violating Republican dogma could make him, as I just said, kind of dangerous in certain parts of the country where Republicans have not played well if he's the nominee. What do you think? Well, I mean, you, you constantly hear people in various states from Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Michigan, Iowa saying, you know, they're torn between what to do. Should I vote for Bernie Sanders or Donald Trump? And it's kind of surprising when you first hear about it. But when you see, like last night, a couple of instances where there's such a juxtaposition between Donald Trump Trump's position on certain issues was Cuba last night that we just showed, and the other three candidates, Republican candidates on the stage, it's jarring and it's a little bit more than interesting and I would imagine might be troubling to any potential Democratic candidate for president, whether it's Bernie Sanders or Hillary Clinton. But Mark, you mentioned that you did not know whether uh, Marco Rubio's very strong response on Cuba would move the needle at all in Dade or Broward County, uh, in, in, based upon what you've been hearing since the debate ended. Could you pull that out a little more, spell it out a little more? Well, I think the people who feel strongly about those issues are probably, particularly in this part of the state, probably already for Marco Rubio. It's not like he's got no strength. But the, the places where he needs to do better are the people who are already for Trump, particularly up in Scarborough country, in the panhandle, in the northern part of the state, and then in the middle of the state. Now, there are Cuban Americans in the I-4 corridor. But again, I think if people who heard Marco Rubio last night understand where he's coming from, see how that contrasts with Donald Trump, I can't believe that's going to inspire too many new people to turn out or make the difference between Trump and 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 uh, and uh, Rubio and Michael Steele. Part of the problem for Marco Rubio is a lot of people in Florida have already voted. They voted well yep. before the debate last night, and based on the number of votes that are in, and based on what we know about the people who voted, Marco Rubio may well be so far behind now that even a strong debate performance, if that's how it received, will not allow him to catch up to Donald Trump. That's a, that's a key point, Mark.